Okay, so the first stop is build.com. So you can see that this is build.com. I think it's in a very classical type of the reaccumulation structure. So before I dive into the reaccumulation structure, let's quickly look at uh, build.com from a longer perspective about uh, from 2020 last year. So we can see that um, it's sort of in an uptrend and especially during the last wave up. So we see there is a climatic run up. So this is a climatic action buying climax for sure. And subsequently forming a change of character, the largest down wave. And this is a trading range that uh, we can define uh, at that point of the time. Subsequently, it's sort of forming its own trading range. So you can see this is again, its own trading range in phase B. And once it's break out, forming the sign of strength rally uh, with the context of this trading range, having a backup action uh, just at a higher ground. And if we just take a look at um, from this buying climax point, I can probably treat this whole range as a reaccumulation range. So the causes it built is probably can based on this whole chunk right there. And if you are a pattern trader, you probably can um, recognize it with whatever pattern you want, cover and handle, or maybe some sort of the box or rectangular breakout. But no matter what pattern you prefer or spotted, so the most important point is that um, it's coming out with a sign of strength rally and with a backup action. And after that, it's managed to overcome the previous resistance defined by this buying climax. Again, this is a sort of a sign of strength rally, again, out from this little trading range. So this is a fractal or the principle within another principle. So this is a spring, sign of strength rally, forming another trading range, okay? So at that point, I think um, definitely there is a trading opportunity, especially if you look at uh, supply. Supply has been very low. And one of the way to trade this is either the breakout. So look at this. I just uh, drop this uh, pivot point or the resistance and wait for a breakout bar, breakout, and then you can just uh, go in with your tight stop. Maybe you put put it under the breakout bar for the wider stop, just put it at the swing low. So that is uh, my plan. So another way is if this is not really the time to move out yet for Bill, then probably we'll just come back down, have a test, then this sort of the reversal type of the signal could become another entry with the anticipation uh, for it to at least test this uh, swing high level first. But uh, in terms of the overall structure and also the supply level, I think is uh, in a very good structure to break out further. So I like this stock. This is uh, build.com.